It's rare now to find a wonderful oldie worldie garage still standing and we've come past here on several occasions over the last few years and I keep meaning to stop and just do a little video about it because it's so unusual to see a wonderful little old garage like this. We're in the small town of Much Wenlock in Shropshire and this garage has been standing here for a long, long time. It's not been used for many years. I mean, looking at the, some of the signs here, I'm guessing probably the 1980s, looking at those signs. How much longer it's going to continue standing is anyone's guess. It's quite a well-known local landmark, really, with anyone who's into the old car scene and transport in general. This is a well-known sort of little landmark almost. Still got the original pumps outside, which is just fantastic. Look here, so what's the make of this one? This is a Beck meter. One time that would have all been beautifully painted up and the globes illuminated on the top. This one here is a Gil Barco. It's missing the glass front now and the, those letters haven't spun for quite a while. It's amazing that this place is standing at all, and then next to it is the earliest of all of them. Someone who knows their pumps will know what this is. Is this one of the fat boy pumps? Certainly a true survivor, many, many layers of paint. I've seen many coats of paint. I wonder what brand of fuel were the last ones to pass through these old pumps. Still got the old fuel delivery gun on the side there. Same with that one. This truly is a time warp place, this one. Birchfield Garage Engineers. A lot of these places started out doing sort of uh, blacksmithing type work before they moved into garages. They also worked on cycles before the uptake of motor vehicles in the early 1900s. And this is probably a survivor from that era. It's just a stunning old place. Just on the side of the, the main road here. It's not hidden away at all. But it's just a glorious survivor. I wonder what would have stood in here. We've got a proper little display area with a mirrored back. I wonder what would have been in there. I won't go looking in, but it's clearly, it's clearly just been closed. And lots of lots and lots of old parts just left in there still. I'm guessing there would have been a castrol sign or something up there, the circular one. That's long since been removed. These old pumps are just fantastic. Got an old sticker in there for Pump Maintenance Limited. You can see some of the mechanism inside there. Isn't that just fantastic? Golden film, Morris's oil. If you know what's happening with this particular place, it'd be, I'd be interested to know. Is it going to be restored? It needs preserving, really. I can't help wondering what old cars, lorries, etc. have pulled into this garage over the years. Anyway, I hope that was of interest. Just a quick video as we were driving past and I thought one day I'll come past here and it'll probably all have been cleared away. So uh, sometimes you have to grab your opportunity when it comes to these old buildings like this because there's no guarantee they'll be here forever.
if you like your old garages there is a section on the main website all to do with surviving old garages I think there is a photo here of this particular garage from probably 10-15 years ago have a look on the main old classic car site if old garages and surviving buildings are your thing if you know of any other garages that I should be having a look at uh, please let me know I can make a note so that if I'm passing by I can call by but yeah thanks very much for watching